morning. I'm just outside. Oh, I was drinking coffee, but it's all gone. Um, and I'm wearing a coat because it's actually like one degrees at the moment. Firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone who contributed and commented and joined the conversation in the last vlog. It was actually really interesting to hear what motivated all of you and why you're doing this. There was one more non-related comment from Ben Hermans who said about my skin being clear. And I don't know if you all know this, but I actually suffered from very, very bad acne pretty much throughout my teenage years and up until relatively recently. Acne was something that I reached. Really... Hi. Like, what are you actually doing? What is, what is your purpose here? What are you trying to achieve? Acne was something that I actually really struggled with when I was growing up as a teenager. I was very self-conscious about it. I tried to do various things, like my parents took me to the doctors to get some medication, like I did antibiotics. Um, I did this thing called Raccutane or Accutane, which is, it made your eyes dry and actually gave me like low-key depression. The reason I'm mentioning this is because I know a lot of the people who watch these videos are in that 16 to 24 age bracket and there's probably a good amount of people who are suffering from some form of acne or feel self-conscious about it. And the reason I wanted to mention it is because at the time I thought that I was doomed to have bad skin and it was just part of my genetics and there was nothing that I could do about it and although that may be partially true, there is a lot you can do about it. And one of those things you can do about it is diet. One of the things that I didn't realize until a lot later on is that what you put in here can affect everything else in your body. It's so when I learned more to do with gut health and how that impacted your skin and a bunch of other stuff in your body. So for me personally, at that time, I actually went grain free. So I dropped like bread, rice, pasta, all of that stuff. I focused on having vegetables. I started including more fats. I focused on having more omega-3s, more good quality sources. I dropped dairy for a bit. I did a bunch of stuff and guess what? My skin improved. This was a couple of years ago now and although I've been working on it and trying different things throughout these two years, my skin has improved a hell of a lot, but it is by no means perfect or good in any way. I don't know if you can see on the camera, I still have the scars from old spots and things, but it's definitely 10 times better. There are many things that contribute to having better gut health. And the science in this area is very much developing all the time. There's new research coming out. Many, many things. But one thing that I saw a night and day difference was when I started consuming these on a daily basis. And what this is, is a bone from a cow. I basically used to make bone broth every single week and I would drink at least a cup of it every single day. And that was for me personally, from my own experience, this N equals one experiment, that's when I saw a huge amount of change when it came to my skin, but also my health in general. It's not just me that thinks bone broth is good. In fact, stock and bone broth has been a foundation of pretty much every single traditional cuisine in the world. There is also a good amount of science backing this. That can, bone broth contains collagen, it contains proline, glycine, some different amino acids that have been shown to help improve gut health. They also contain minerals that are actually in a very absorbable form. So things like calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, silicon, sulfur, and others, there is a whole bunch of good stuff in bone broth. The reason I'm spending so long talking about this is because I want to share it with you as the today's recipe. It has actually been requested quite a few times in the past beforehand, so I thought it'd be about time to show you a very simple and easy way to make bone broth. You only need three ingredients, apple cider vinegar, bones, salt, and of course, water. But if you want the full recipe, I'll put it in the description down below. Very, very easy. But it is now breakfast time, so I've got the morning smoothie that I've been having for the past while. It's very green steak, because there's a lot of kale in there. But I'm also having on the side some different supplements, but one of which, relating to what I was talking about before, is a probiotic. Anyway, I'm sorry for going on about this so long, but it's something that's very interesting to me, but not something that I'm very qualified to talk about. I just thought I would share my experience because I knew that probably there were some people watching who can relate or are struggling with that same issue. If you are interested in this, I would love to get somebody much more knowledgeable than I am onto the podcast to talk about. So if you want that, or if you have any suggestions about who I might get on, leave a comment down below. But now I've got to get on with some work.
kind of already said what I wanted to say earlier in regards to acne, but I also want to just mention you have overwhelming amounts of control over your body and part of my philosophy is and always has been if you have a problem or a goal and you want to fix it, then it's your responsibility to yourself to do so. so you just got to invest that time and energy into finding out how and put it into practice. I'm gonna go train, I've had some pre-workout coffee, and then I've got to coach later on, so I'll kind of be there for a while, but I am gonna make basically my overnight oats recipe that is on my website for my post-workout snacks. It's nice and easy to take the gym. Some days just It is absolutely Baltic today. So we are back, it is now half seven. And I just had a little realization that I forgot to share. I went to the sauna and I realized that one of the reasons I think my skin is better lately is because of the use of both hot and cold therapy. I've done cold showers now for a long time, but I've recently started adding saunas and I've actually seen a bit of a benefit with it. I don't know whether it's to do with the fact that cold and hot therapy will help improve limb circulation, which I know is a factor for acne, but also the fact that when you're sweating in a sauna, you're essentially detoxing, you're getting stuff out of your skin. Anyway, time for Food! And dinner is done. In here I've got butternut squash fried with some chorizo, some garlic, some leeks, cabbage, and halloumi as well. And then for protein, I've gone for some smoked mackerel and some poached eggs on top because all of that yolky goodness will just run into everything else. Very, very simple meal. The butternut squash is something I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. I'll just chuck in an entire butternut squash into the oven, roast it for about an hour and a half at 180 degrees. I just chuck it in the fridge and then for the next five or so days, that is basically my lower carb, carb sauce if I want to chuck it cold into a salad, if I want to throw it into a meal. So just a really nice, easy meal prep kind of thing. Macros wise was pretty good for the day, pretty hefty on the cows. Again, two, nine, 3,000, that's what I'm kind of shooting for on training days. I'm trying to gain a little bit of mass, but again, not too much body fat. But that has been it for this week, guys. If you enjoyed that acne chat, if you enjoyed finding out more about that, if you have yourself struggling with acne or if you found something that worked, let me know in the comments down below. And I think I'm gonna do some more videos and information on this. Whilst you're down there, hit that subscribe button. There's new videos every single week, movement, nutrition, bodyweight training, mobility, etc. If you just wanna support the channel, hit that thumbs up button, show you like these kind of videos. But that has been it for this week, guys. Have a strong and healthy week. Peace.